Hello, in this video we're going to prove that this sequence converges to E raised to the AB. Now really we're going to prove something even more general but this is the title that I'm going to go with. And if you watch black pen red pen he calls this relationship the fact. And he actually has a video called the fact where he proves this. But what we do in statistics it's often we don't have constants a b we may have a, a sequence of numbers that converges for instance i just did a video on the rao blackwell theorem where we gave an example and in place of b we had the sample mean and we know that it converges to the population mean and so then this would converge to e to the a and then the population mean would go here and that's kind of the generality that we're going to prove in this video. Now, if the limit of A in converges to A, and the limit of B in converges to B, then this holds. The limit of 1 plus A sub N over N raised to the B sub N times N converges to E to the AB. And a second thing we're going to prove here is 1 minus you know this converges to e to the minus a b and actually once we prove a then then or i and then part two is a dull moment it's a specific case of this but we'll go through it because it's fun math now here's the proof if we call this limit l and since log is a continuous function we can take the log of both sides and we can actually pass the log in through this or take the limit outside because log is a, a continuous function. Now one other thing that we need to worry about that I don't hear in videos, how can we take the log? Well, what if a sub n are, are negative numbers and converges to negative a, for instance, and then somehow this, you know, if n is too small, this could be negative raised to a positive, you know, an odd power, for instance, then it's still negative. You can't take the log of a negative number. But since it's the limit as n goes to infinity, at some point we're going to get an n big enough that this number is less than 1. And so whether we add it or subtract it, this whole, this whole number is, is still positive. And then whether this is positive or negative, it's still positive. So at some point, you know, n is big enough. And, and probably I should say that, you know, we're n bigger than, you know, all of the ans, then, then this true. And then we can take the log of both sides. And we can pass it through because log is a continuous function. Well, now, since we're taking the log, we can take this exponent out front and that and then you know if you multiply this back you get an n times it but we do this so we can use Lobatol's rule this converges to zero and the log of one is zero and then as n goes to infinity this goes to uh, zero so we get a zero over zero scenario where Lobatol's rule is going to apply so we take the derivative of this bottom and here it's 1 over this, and that's what this represents, times the derivative of, of this piece here, which is going to be a, and that's where the a comes out front, and then it's minus 1 over n squared. And I do that because those cancel, leaving this. Now the limit of this product is the, the you know, the limit type product. So we just bring it into each of those, and then since this goes to 0, this goes to 1, this goes to b, and this goes to a. So we have the log of l is equal to ab. And then if we, if we exponentiate both sides, we get this. l is equal to the e to the ab. And then we're done with the proof. And one note that's pretty common is you let the sequence be a constant. Well, of course, then if it's, if it's any constant, then we're back in this setting, right? And A converges to itself, and B converges to itself, so it's trivially true. But what we see most is that it equals 1 
and then we get this, which is E. And there's like tons and tons of videos proving that, but not this where we have a sequence here. Now let's prove part two where there's a negative here instead of a positive. And it's really one line. So we let the limit of minus A over N equal um, minus A, right? Because if the limit of A N converges to A, then the minus of it converges. So then this, so that minus is what's here, we bring it up. And now from part one, we know this converges to minus A and that converges to B, so we're, we're done. But what fun is that? So let's kind of prove it another way. And ultimately we'll use part one again. So here is what we want to find the limit of, which um, can be re re written like this, where we take a minus and a minus, right? Because when we bring these in, then it's positive BN times N, right? So these are the same equation. Then we combine this into a fraction, otherwise everything is the same. Then we take its reciprocal, which is this, then we rewrite this as this function here. So everything else stays the same, but this 1 plus A over N divided by N minus A over N is this right here. Now what we do is we multiply the exponent times 1. N minus A over N divided by N minus A over N, right? So when this is multiplied in, we get this back, okay? But notice that if we do a variable change and let x equal n minus a over n, that implies n is x plus a over n. And note that as n goes to infinity, x goes to infinity. So this can be rewritten like this. So this piece is x, and this piece um, is x. We have minus bn, which is that. The n minus a over n is x, and the n is x plus a over n, right? So this is equivalent to this, and now x is going to infinity instead of n. So when we multiply this back into this piece, right? Everything else is the same, but this x is here, and this piece is here. So now, note that the limit of a n goes to a by assumption, but then the limit of this piece goes to b, right? Because this limits to 1, and this limits to, to, I guess, minus b. So now, this is using part one, this converges to, to e to the a, b, you know, the minus a, b. And we're done. And note that if a, n, and b, n are, is a fixed constant one, then it's to this relationship, which is e to the minus one, which is a pretty common formula in on in the literature or on Google I should say googling it well that's all I have for this video hopefully you enjoyed that I sure did please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye